Merry Christmas and welcome back to Book Break. If you are looking for Christmas shopping inspiration, you are in the right place because this is our annual Christmas gift guide. And this year we've gone a little overboard. We've created an entire advent calendar. So that is 24 suggestions of books we think would make perfect Christmas presents this year. Let's see what's behind the first door. So this is a stunning one to start with, A Poem for Every Winter Day, edited by Ali Aziri. This is a lovely gift for the whole family, something to read together maybe every day. Ali Aziri is the editor of the gorgeous books, A Poem for Every Day of the Year and A Poem for Every Night of the Year. And then these little seasonal paperbacks are taken from that season's section of the book. So this is a gorgeously festive cover for the winter one. And like I said, I think it's a really beautiful gift for the whole family. And behind the next door, we have another absolutely beautiful one, Dear Reader by Kathy Rensenbrink. I am such a huge fan of this book. This is Kathy Rensenbrink's memoir of how books have brought her comfort and joy at some of the toughest times in her life and is just such a love letter to reading. So any book lover will adore unwrapping this on Christmas morning. And it's also got even more book recommendations inside it, so it really is the gift that just keeps giving. I'm now gonna go through some really lovely children's books. So let's open up door number three. Here we have Dear Santa by Rod Campbell. And this is the 15th anniversary edition of this wonderful book. So firstly, let's just appreciate all of the beautiful festive gold foiling on the cover. And this is a really interactive lift the flap picture book. So you can see what's inside each present and it's really fun. Behind door number four, we have the 130 Story Tree House by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton. This is the 10th book in this series, and these books have been just so popular. With every book, the tree house gets taller and taller, adding on more and more wild and wacky levels. In this one, we've got a time-wasting level, a soap bubble blaster. It's a present for the children, but one that the grown-ups will definitely enjoy as well. Then through door number five, we find this gorgeous book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This is a brand new edition illustrated by Chris Riddell. 150 years ago this book was first published and it is every bit as magical today. So this is a gorgeous present for a child to introduce them to the story of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland for the first time or a really lovely nostalgic gift for a grown-up who grew up loving this story. And Chris Riddell's illustrations are so whimsical and magical. You get a mixture of beautiful colour illustrations like this, or some stunning black and white drawings as well. So a really beautiful present. Then through door number six, these books just keep getting prettier and prettier. This is Counting Creatures by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Sharon King Chai. And I really just have no words for how stunning this is. Take a look for yourself. This is a book designed to teach children to count. So you have all these really interactive elements. They can count how many babies each different animal has. And the illustrations in here are just out of this world gorgeous. Look at all of the colors. Look at all of the cutout details. This is a real treat. Behind door number seven, we have Coming to England, but this is a picture book version of Pamela Benjamin's classic childhood memoir. She's now rewritten it for younger readers and teamed up with Diane Ewan to draw these gorgeous illustrations. So this is her story of immigrating from Trinidad to England. It's a really wonderful, inspiring story, but it does also tackle some of the harder things that Pamela Benjamin had to face when she came to England. Some of the racism that she encountered, as well as the pain of missing her home and family, but it's all told in a way that's a really hopeful positive reading experience for children. Behind door number eight, we've got a book that's got me feeling so nostalgic. This is Just One of Those Days by Jill Murphy, the follow-up to Peace at Last, which was one of my favourites when I was growing up. That story was all about a family of bears trying to get a moment's sleep. And in this story, they wake up late the next morning and everything goes a little bit wrong. It's just one of those days. I mean, look at them. This is gonna make so many people feel so nostalgic this Christmas, or a perfect gift for a new generation of children to enjoy. And then through door number nine, one more children's book before I move on to gifts for grown-ups. This is Alex T. Smith's retelling of The 12 Days of Christmas, or Grandma is Overly Generous. It's a really funny, sweet retelling of the song. 
featuring Grandma, whose presents start off okay, a partridge in a pear tree isn't too ridiculous, but things get a little out of hand. So this looks like a really fun book to sing along to, but you might have to learn some new lyrics, because while we start off familiar, five gold rings, everyone knows, we end up with things like ten rhinos racing, seven squirrels are snorkeling, so you never quite know what to expect. Okay, moving on to books for grown-ups. Through door number 10, we have another spin on the 12 days of Christmas. This time, it's The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss. This is a festive rom-com about a woman who signs up for the 12 Dates of Christmas dating app, where she gets to go on 12 very Christmassy romantic dates with 12 different men. But as she learns more about each man on each date, she might learn even more about herself. Through door number 11, you will see a name very often found wrapped under the Christmas tree, Karen Swan, who is the queen of Christmas books. This one, Together by Christmas, is set in Amsterdam, and it's about a woman working as a celebrity photographer, very cool job, raising her son. But then one morning, she finds a mysterious book with a message left in the basket of her bicycle, and it just might lead her to someone very special. Okay, let's go through door number 12 and just look at that cover. This could actually double up as a Christmas decoration when you finish reading it. This is All That Glitters by Danielle Steele. This book is about a woman called Coco, who is the heir to a massive fortune. She's had this very privileged life, and she moves to London where she meets and falls in love with a handsome but penniless aristocrat. So it's set in this really glamorous world, and it's about this woman figuring out her place in the world and who she can trust. Now through door number 13, you might see a familiar face. We almost never include a book two gift guide years in a row, but I just couldn't resist this year because the paperback of Me by Elton John is now out and this is just such a good Christmas present. Whether they're a huge Elton John fan or a huge music fan in general, or just a massive fan of Elton John's smash hit Step Into Christmas, you can't go wrong with gifting this book. Through door number 14, we have another one for the music fans and another musician with an incredible Christmas hit. This is The Meaning of Mariah by Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is a complete icon at Christmas time and otherwise, and this is a never seen before glimpse into her life, her childhood, her struggles. We've got pictures. It's a really, really personal and unfiltered look into the life of one of the biggest music legends. Through door number 15, we have an absolutely huge book, both in terms of it genuinely being huge and also in how highly anticipated this book was this year. So this is The Evening and the Morning by Ken Follett. It's the prequel to the Kingsbridge series, which is about a cathedral and the generations of people living around it. So if you're feeling really generous, you could get someone the entire series for Christmas, but this is a wonderful Christmas present on its own as well. Then let's go through door number 16, and talking of books that have been huge this year, this is Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart, the winner of this year's Booker Prize. This is the heartbreaking story of young Shuggy Bane growing up in Glasgow with an alcoholic mother who he adores but isn't able to save. So it's a real tearjerker. You might want to gift this one with a box of tissues as well. Through door number 17, we have a beautiful little collection here of selected non-fiction writings. So you could gift somebody this as a whole bundle, or any one of them would make a gorgeous present on its own as well. So the different themes we've got here, Food for Thought, a collection of classic food writing, The Joy of Walking, a celebration of the act of putting one foot in front of the other, The Art of Solitude, some really inspiring writings about what you can learn about yourself on your own, and why friendship matters, which would definitely be a lovely present to give to your best friend. Through door number 18, we have another one to make people cry on Christmas morning. This is The Happiest Man on Earth by Eddie Jakku, the amazingly inspiring story of an Auschwitz survivor who, after living through years of the most terrible suffering, made a decision to himself. He was going to smile every day. He has now just turned 100 and he considers himself the happiest man on earth. So this is a really inspiring, moving book. Through door number 19, 
These little MCLs always make beautiful Christmas presents and this one, Passing by Nella Larson, is the classic story that this year's huge bestseller, The Vanishing Half, was inspired by. This is the story of two childhood friends who reunite as adults to find that one of them is passing as white and is married to a very racist man who has no idea about her real heritage and these two women rekindling their friendship puts them both in danger. Through door number 20, another face often found beneath the Christmas tree, Joe Wicks. So cookbooks are a classic Christmas present and Joe Wicks recipes are so delicious and so accessible to cooks of all different levels of expertise that this is a really versatile gift. So this is the 30 day kickstart plan. It's full of recipes and also workouts, specially designed to boost energy. So with this one, you are giving the gift of a very happy January. Behind door number 21, we have a brilliant present for history lovers. This is A House Through Time by David Olisoga and Melanie Backhansen, based on the really popular TV show A House Through Time, which uncovers layers of history in ordinary people's houses. And the book also gives readers the tools to explore their own house's history as well. Behind Door 22, another book that teaches new skills, this is How to Grow Your Own Poem by Kate Clanchy. So this is a really interactive guide to writing your own poetry. She's got loads of tips in here to unleash your creativity. So this is a really great present for an aspiring writer or just someone who wants to try something new. Behind Door 23, we have a classic, The Prophet by Khalil Gibran, but this time in a brand new stunning edition, Can't Resist Anything with Gold Foil. This is a collection of 26 poetic essays by the Lebanese artist and philosopher Khalil Gibran and it's full of words of wisdom and inspiration. And finally, behind the 24th door, we have a gorgeous present that I think really anyone on your list would love. This is Journey by Paolo Coelho. This is a guided journal of self-discovery. So on every page, we have beautiful quotes from Paolo Coelho himself, as well as prompts for self-reflection. So as well as being a really stunning present in itself, this is a book that whoever you're giving it to can just keep coming back to and learning more and more about themselves. And look how pretty it will look under the tree. So with that selection of 24 books, I would say your Christmas shopping is now complete. There is something for everyone on your list in there. So do leave us a comment letting us know which of those are your favourite and if you do want even more shopping inspiration I will link here to our past gift guides so you can go and browse those as well. Merry Christmas and see you next time!